What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Vivlion team that also features Life Orb, Fluttermane, and Clear Amulet Cerulege. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering we have a huge channel update coming very, very soon, brand new rebranding that I'm working on right now with a graphic designer. And I'm telling you guys, it looks fire. My graphic designer just sent me my uh, banner and they also sent me the uh, intro, like a sample that we're working on, and it looks fire. So cannot wait to just bring you guys all that stuff at once and members at the same time. It's going to be great. It's definitely going to be great. So definitely stick around and stay tuned for that. But we got a Biblion team. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Haven't used it yet on the rank ladder. So let's get started here with today's team preview. Biblion's over here. Bug and Flying type. It's mainly just a support Pokemon for this team, considering it has the Friend Guard ability. It has Focus Ash as its item, Protect, Tailwind, Pollen Puff, and Rage Powder for its moveset. Fluttermane is going to be our second Pokemon. It is going to be our heavy special attacking hitter for this team with the Protosynthesis and the Life Orb. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Substitute. If you can get Sub set up on this Pokemon, it can pretty much just go through the battle, dominating it. Third Pokemon is going to be Iron Bundle. Everybody knows Iron Bundle's top tier in this meta. Cannot go wrong on any team. Iron Bundle has Quirk Drive. It's got the Booster Energy as its item and ability. And then Protect, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Encore. So if we're going up against, say, like a Pokemon like Iron Hands, if they fake out, we can Encore it into staying in the fake out and just get after the battle that way. So really do like Encore on Iron Bundle. Could definitely catch some uh, teams off guard. Iron Hand's going to be our fourth Pokemon. Really can't go wrong with this Paradox Pokemon either with Quirk Drive and Assault Vest. It's got Grass Terror type with Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain Punch, and Volt Switch. Cerule Edge is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and I love this Pokemon's design. Definitely one of the cooler Gen 9 Pokemon with the double Ghost Fire uh, Swords with uh, Flash Fire and Clear Amulet as item and ability. And this one has Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Bulk Up, and Protect, which I feel like is a pretty solid moveset for any Cerule Edge. Probably the best one, considering you have the uh, stat boost and then you have first turn priority. Then you also have a he heavy hitting stat move that is also HP recovery. So love this Pokemon. Really, really solid all around. Just up, not up against those uh, Dark type Pokemon with Sucker Punches. Final Pokemon is going to be another support Pokemon. It is going to be Mousehold. Mousehold. Obviously great support Pokemon. It also has friend guard just like Vivian. So support Pokemon is going to be the name of the game with this team. It has Citrus Berry as an item. Then it's rocking Super Fang, Follow Me, Protect, and Taunt. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Vivian and Life Orb Flutter main team. We're hopping in match number one. Let's grab ourselves a victory. We're going up against a very strong team. Check it out. Talon Flame, Iron Bundle, Golden Go. Tar for weather control and it's pretty solid on that uh, special defensive side. And then it also has Great Tusk and Fluttermane. So like I said, very strong team. I feel like Vivian's got to be a lead. We can Tailwind control. We can get after the match that way. I'm kind of digging it. So I'm going to go Vivian. I might also lead Fluttermane here. Do I go Fluttermane? I like Fluttermane. I could also go in with my boy, the Bundle. The Bundle's not bad here. But I like Fluttermane. Fluttermane seems to just get a lot of work done. So I am going to lead Fluttermane. A little bit of Flutz action. The Fluttermane, Vivian, really do like that. I am also going to be bringing in the Iron Bundle. Really can't go wrong with that Pokemon. And then last but not least, do I go in with Cerule Edge or Iron Hands? I feel like it's one or the other here, right? Iron Hands are actually pretty solid here. And I kind of want to go into them. Yeah, I got to go into Iron Hands here. Iron Hands definitely over Cerule Edge. Has a better move pool against these Pokemon. Plus, it's a lot more bulkier with that Assault Vest. I like it. And then you get Fake Out on top of it, which is just like cherry on top. Get Fake Out. Fake Out is amazing. Makes first turn flinch. It's awesome. Really, really strong. But we're going to see who they end up leading. It's got to be like Talonflame, right? A little bit of Talonflame action. And it is. So it's going to be Talonflame and a Tusk. So he is free to just go into EQs, all that good stuff. Um... I feel like from here I could just Rage Powder, but that wouldn't be the play. And the reason I say it's not going to be the play is considering he can just, uh, he can just, what's it called? EQ, and it would still hit me. But from here, I could go for a Gleam, but I feel like, mm, yeah, I feel like we have to go for a Gleam. I could tear it in a straight Ghost, which wouldn't be too bad. But I'm just going to straight up Gleam, hoping that he doesn't, what's it called? Hoping that he doesn't Terrasalize the Great Tusk, but he probably is, right? Maybe I should just Shadow Ball in Town Flame. But I, I feel like we could be good here. Now Vivlion out on the field. Love me some Vivlion. Love me some Vivlion. The Tailwind's gonna come out from him. 
Hamlin's going to come out for me. And more importantly, he did not trash slide. So that's solid for us. Headlong Rush will come in here. Can you soak that? You can. Live it on 2 HP. We love that. We love that. We're going to die to life for it, but still. We get off a nice, lovely shot here, and we get off our tailwind. So Clean flies out here and just KOs that. Okay. I'll take that all day. Fluttermane dies. We get rid of Great Tusk. We deal some damage on Talonflame, and we set up our tailwind to match his. Solid. Definitely solid. Definitely solid. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, Long Rush coming in here. <laughs> that move is terrifying. It's legit the close combat of ground moves. Same damage, same everything, just a like ground. Uh, from here, we could go into my boy. Right here, I could go into either or. Who do I want to rock out into? You have Grass Terror for you, which I wouldn't want to use. I could save you. You have the lovely little booster energy. Uh, I kind of want to go into you. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I kind of want to get rid of this town plane more so than anything. I'm going to go into Iron Hands here. Just to give a quick feel out here. Because I can actually bolt switch out. And KO the talent plane too. Which could be really solid for us. Give my fake out another turn. But he's going to go into Golden Go. I don't mind that. And I might just reach power the shot, right? Actually, I'm just going to protect Vivian here. I'm just going to protect Vivian. I'm going to go for this up bolt switch here. I'm not even going to fake out. I'm not even going to fake out. But he's going to end up terrestrializing. That's fine. A little Terra action onto the Golden Go. And what are you going to go into? Straight Steel. Great steal. So now I can actually hit that thing with a drain punch, which isn't bad. Considering if I survive this turn, I can just rip into that. Vivian protects. That's good. That lets us know Talonflame is not protecting. We like that a lot. And Brave Bird's going to come in here. Great protect from us. We're going to block it. We're going to Volt Switch. Probably pick up the KO, correct? And more importantly, swap out and have Fake Out later. So Make It Rain's going to fly here. And we're going to block it. I'm pretty bulky on that special defense side. We have the Soul Vest, too. But if you can soak pretty well, I would like that. Let's see how much you soak. Oh my god. Light work. Light work on the soak. I'm like a sponge. I'm like a sponge right here. The thing is orbed, which is solid for us. And Volt Switch can come through here. We're pivoting. Can we KO? We don't. I really want the KO there. I did really want the KO there. I did really want the KO. I did really want that. Okay, so we still have Focus Ash. Um, I could Grass Terror this thing. Or I could just swap again. I think we have the Rage Powder here, right? I mean, I do have Protect on this. Ah, this one's going to be tough. This one's definitely going to be tough. Speed is heightened. I think we might outspeed Talonflame at this point. And I don't know. Do I Grass Terror here? I don't want to Grass Terror. I'm trying to think. Is this going to be super effective onto us? I'm not going to Terrasalize just yet. I'm not going to Terrasalize. I'm just going to Rage Powder. He has minus one on special attack, which is pretty solid for us. I should be able to outspeed him with this uh, with this Iron Bundle, right? Because I have boost energy. Yeah, and that, that will KO. Did we get rid of them there? Bifleon's doing work. He's got the Tailwind set up. He's just been soaking shots, doing everything else. And the Thunderbolts can come out here. That's a solid Rage Powder from us. Really solid Rage Powder from us. And now I'm sitting here. I got Iron Bundle out here. I think I'm just going to Rage Powder again. Get off as much damage as I possibly can. I could end up protecting my bundle. Or I could Terrasalize. See who he goes into. It's going to be Flutter Me. I have my boost energy. I am going to be able to outspeed. And I don't know if I Terra here, right? I think I want to Terra. I think I want to Terrasalize here. And go for a Hydro Pump for the KO here. Probably be my best bet. Where do I go after you? Because I know my... Yeah, I'm going to go after Fluttermane. Because I know my bundle... Or not my bundle. I know my Iron Hands can finish that off. So I'm just going to go into Fluttermane here. Look to poke off some damage. I'm Thrasalizing in the grass just in case he wants to go into a Thunderbolt into me. But I think that's what's going to happen. I think Fluttermane takes out my Vivian and then Thunderbolt's going to slide over. So I think Thrasalizing here is a smart play. So we get another turn with the bundle. And he's gonna protect Fluttermane, so okay, that's kinda smart. Still a smart player. Are you going for another Make It Rain? I would like for it to go for another Make It Rain. Go for another Make It Rain. Lower your special attack. Lower your special attack for me. Do it, please. Do it, please, and thank you. Just for Make It Rain. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Which bundle? You should be able to soak that, right? You do. That's huge. That's big time. That's big time. 
So we have speed, no problem. That thing is minus two. It is minus two. And I just feel like we go straight after Fluttermane, right? I think we try to get rid of Fluttermane here. I think we wild charge and we also freeze dry into it. Guaranteeing hits, trying to KO it. Because at that point, I can, I'm telling you, I can 1v1 that thing with my, uh, with my hands. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Not going to like the, the fairy moves into me, but still, we're, we're going to get after this. We're going to get after this and try this. It's terrifying. He has minus two on special attack. This is a close battle. Freeze dry going to come out here. How much damage we chip it up? Uh, I don't know if we KO. Oh, we get the, we get the freeze. We get the freeze, baby. Clutch it up with the... Uh, it, it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Hate this game. Don't like it one bit. And yeah, now that's pretty much GG's, right? He gets a crit too on me. You get a crit on my Pokemon. I don't know which one it was because I can't read this language, but you get a crit. I'm going to guess that was actually Iron Hands because that Nicola, that actually did a lot of damage. Maybe I should Drain Punch for some HP back, but it's pretty much game set match from here. That's terrible. We're going to lose like that. A wild charge. Wild charge did KO. Man, I think he got a crit on my iron hands. I believe he did. Recoil's gonna take us out. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul that we lose a match like that. Hurts the soul that we lose a match like that. But hey, we're gonna start off 0 1. Solid first battle. Let's win our next two. Let's definitely win our next two. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two. We're 0 1 today, going up against a scissor team. They also have Fluttermane, Murkrow, Screamtail, Gyarados, and last but not least, they are rocking out with, uh, what is that? The Great Tusk. A little bit of Great Tusk, actually. I kind of do like Cerulege here. Cerulege seems really, really solid up against a lot of these Pokemon. So I am going to end up leading Cerulege and trying to get after the match with him. So Cerulege, get on in here. I am also going to lead maybe a Pokemon like Vivian, but I feel like we have speed. Uh, do I lead Vivian? Helmet could be good, especially if they go into Murkrow. We could Rage Powder a lot of shots, too. I'm kind of with it. Plus, we could bulk up at that point. I like it. I'm going to go Vivian. I'm going to go Cerulege. I definitely want Fluttermane here. Fluttermane seems to, seems to be pretty solid. And then last but not least, Iron Bundle or Iron Hands. Iron Bundle's good. I like Bundle. I like Bundle over Hands here. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves our first win in match number two. But that last match right there... It looked pretty good for us. And then uh, I think he got a crit on my Iron Hands. It would have been close regardless if he didn't get the crit or did get the crit. But yeah, I think that crit on the Iron, Iron, Iron Hands definitely did us dirty a little bit. Definitely did us dirty, but they're going to end up leading. Skizzy and Donnie Donfan. So I have Vivian, which could dodge the ground moves. I can also Terrasilize into Straight Steel, but that wouldn't really help us at all. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of just Bitter Blade in this, right? And do I tail in a rage powder? I mean, I could protect first and just allow him to do what he wants to do. I think it's going to be my play. I think I'm just going to protect first, see what he wants to do here, do here if he's going to terrasize or not, and just pop a tailwind. <coughs> so we just switch all scissors. So, yeah, we're just kind of like seeing what he wants to do here. And he's probably going to go into some type of flying Pokemon, Gyarados maybe. Yeah, Gyarados is going to come out here. And we're clear amulet. So, and he's just going to pop free EQs. So it's pretty much just a free turn for us, which is going to be really good for us. I can get down with this. I can definitely get down with this. It's basically a free turn for us. He's not going to tell when he's probably EQing. Where everyone's going to dodge it and we'll just go from there. That's not bad. Oh, it's going to be headlong rush. So he wants to change what he wants to do. That's fine. I mean, I guess I can deal with that. I can rage powder now. I can definitely rage powder. Do I terror though? I don't know what I want to do here because I really don't want to swap you. I think I'd rather this thing just die out. Correct? I think I'd rather this thing just die out. Maybe get some HP back here. I'm not going to do any crazy amount of damage. I'm going to just Rage Powder shots. See how this one plays out here. We're hoping he's going for Headlong Rush. We're hoping another Headlong Rush is coming in here. Bit of Blade's going to fly. Send it that way. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy. But we're hoping Headlong Rush coming in here. Okay, Ice Spinner. I can deal with that. Ice Spinner flies. Brings us down to Sash. And then Gyarados is going to KO us, right? Unless you're going for a D-Dance. I highly doubt it, but that would suck. But Waterfall comes out here. KO's my Vivian. I'm cool with Vivian. Vivian got a solid turnout from us. I'm all about it. And then from here, I could just go into... Uh, could just go into you. Or I could go into Bundle. Bundle's definitely going to be your best bet here. 
Funnel's definitely your best bet. Yo, that red Gyarados looking, looking nice. <laughs> it's looking real good. It's definitely look, looking real good. That my quirk drive. Obviously, I'm gonna be faster. Um, hmm. Do I bulk up here or do I protect? I could also hard swap. That means saving this thing for later could be good. So I think I am just gonna hard swap him into Fluttermane, and then battle with you. And do I freeze dry? I think freeze dry has a shot at KO. And I mean, it's super effective. I think he might terrestrialize. I am just gonna freeze dry this thing down. Let's see how he ends up playing this one. So we're going to save our Cerulege because we know we have Scizor in the back end. We know we have Skizzy Scizor. And we're going to go right into Fluttermane. And he's going to end up Terrasalizing. Probably into maybe straight ground. What are you, what are you Terrasalizing into? It's going to be Gyarados. Okay, never mind. So Gyarados with Terrasalization in a straight flying. Okay. So straight flying Gyarados. I don't really see the point in that, but that's fine. Free Strike's going to pop out here. Can we KO with this? Maybe. We do. That's a big time KO. So we pick up the big time KO onto the Great Tusk. Gyarados just gonna go for a waterfall in this slot. That's fine. That's not fine. Did you crit? What kind of damage is that? Are you orbed? What? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> My mind's exploding. My mind is exploding, but I still feel like we can win this match. You're gonna one shot my flutter main like that? Not even one turn. Now you're going to go into Fluttermane of your own. So I think we ter terrestrialize you. And we just pop a nice little Shadow Sneak. And then we can just freeze dry you down. That is ugly. That is real ugly. That is super ugly. Take out one of my one of my best Pokemon. Like, I need you. I need you. We know he has Scissor. Scissor's going to be his final Pokemon in the back end. I think Cerulege... Can do a nice chunk of damage here. Same thing with uh, Bundle. Bundle has a chance of one shot in this uh, Gyarados. It kind of sucks that Gyarados did Terrastalize because we did have a four times super effective move onto him until he Terrastalized into straight flying. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're going to Terrastalize our own Cerulege here into straight steel type, baby. We're going straight steel. And this is the point. This is this is one of those plays where I wish I had Terra Blast because I could just rip into that. Uh, that flutter main, but still we have Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is gonna be super effective. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage here. That's a nice chunk of damage. We like that. Free strike's gonna pop out here. Can we KO with this? We don't. Half damage. Okay, so next turn we can pick up some KOs. Moonblast's gonna fly here. You're gonna go after my bundle. And what is up with why is everybody one-shotting me? I don't understand. My defense is that low? My defense is that low. So he's gonna terror blast me. That did a lot of damage for no reason, too. And I feel like he's just going to protect... Uh, I feel like he's just going to protect Fluttermane, to be honest with you. I feel like he's just going to protect Fluttermane. I feel like we still have a shot at winning this match. I'm not going to lie. He withdraws Fluttermane. You're going to go into Skizzy. Skizzy's going to come out here. So maybe you don't have Protect. We're going for the Bitter Boy KO here. Can we KO you? That'd be big time. We do KO. So we get back HP. You get back HP. And did we just shadow sneak down the uh the flutter main? Because we definitely still have a shot. Because I can one shot scissor any day. Anytime, anywhere. I do outspeed it as well. I feel like we just have to shadow sneak that slot, right? It seems like a must just to get rid of flutter main. It might even protect here, but I feel like scissor doesn't have enough attack power to kinda rip into us, correct? Because why would it withdraw there? Makes no sense. Perfect. So Shadow Sneak comes out here. It might be Choice Spec. That could, like, make sense to why it did so much damage and why they swapped, too. So we do that. I outspeed this thing. And we gonna clutch up? Are we gonna clutch up? Oh, baby. Saru Edge clutch? After two of my Pokemon get one shot at Yeah, yo, that's game set match. Let's get it. Let's go, yo. So, Edge absolutely ripping in match number two. You guys got to love the plays coming out from your boy. We're one and one. I promise you guys to win in match number two. I prevailed. Let's grab ourselves a match number three. Or match number three victory. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against Indeedee and Armrouge. Absolutely hate versus that combo. And this team doesn't really have a counter to it, right? 
looking at this team, I don't really see a hard counter for Inti the armor. So that can be tough if they end up leading that. They also have the Heracross and the Salamence. Two very strong Pokemon, but not crazy strong meta Pokemon. And then they got Brute Bonnet. And last but not least, they're rocking out with the one and only King Gambo. King Gambi, King Gambo, whatever you guys want to call it. It's there. Uh, Vivion has been phenomenal for speed control so far. So I don't know if I want to lead it again, though. I feel like we just have to get out some attack power, correct? Could just start ripping with some attack power. Kind of want to go into Fluttermane here. Fluttermane alongside with Bundy? Problem is the special defense boost that indeed he's going to get. <laughs> I hate this game. Don't like this game one bit. I don't want to go into you. Get cooking with you. You're not You're not bad here. Not too bad. We might just want to like, double down with these these buddies, old, buddy old pals. I kind of like that. We're going to go full attack here. We're going full attack. I'm going full attack. Indeed, the armor seems like a problem. And I know they're going to lead it. Like, I already know it's going to be a problem. I just hate it so much. Please take them out of the game. I'm just kidding. They're not, like, extremely broken. They're just so strong. And, like, if you don't build a team to counter it, or if you don't have a counter on a team, you can pretty much just lose to it straight away. So, whenever you're building a team, especially in the high match tier, try to make sure it has a nice little counter for it. Because Heracross Salmons. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Heracross Salmons comes out here. Uh, I get a free fake out here. I think I'm just going to Volt Switch after that. Bit of Volt Switch action after that. And I think I'm just going to bulk up. I think I fake out the Salamence. Give a little fake out to the Sally. We'll allow Heracross to do whatever he wants. That's fine. He can protect. I'm bulking up. I'm up in the bulks. I'm up in the bulks. We get off the fake out. Make it flinch. And now my defense stats boost it. And my attack stats boost it. So, so we're like just being MVP so far. I'm really like it's running so far. Even though Vivian's doing amazing on the support side. But from here, obviously, I could just bitter blade. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems free. And then I'm just going to Volt Switch you out. I'm just going to Volt Switch you out. Let's see what Heracross does. It's Heracross, if I had to guess, is probably Sashed. If not, it just dies to this. He's going to go for the Air Slash. I'm going to get all my HP back. I'm going to get all my HP back. That Air Slash, dumb dumb. And Heracross is not Sash. This is looking like game set match. Looking like Super Lash gonna come in hot here. It looks like it's gonna do some work. Now I'm gonna Volt switch my Iron Hands out here. I'm gonna say, Iron Hands, thanks for coming. We'll use you later for fake out. Let's pull you back. And there's two reasons I want to switch that. A, I wanna get in different actually three reasons. A, I wanna get into a different Pokemon. B, I wanna reset our fake out. And C, I want to uh, get rid of that minus one from that intimidate from the Salamence. So from here, it seems like a free flutter main play, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. I know Salamence's do rock steel terra. I'm gonna go into bundle instead. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go into bundle instead. A little bit of bundle action. Go throw out his next Pokemon. And who is their next Pokemon possibly gonna be? Anything but armors and Indian, right? <laughs> Anything besides those two. I mean I'm able to get bulked up, which is pretty good. So this could help us out. And they're gonna end up bringing I think it's gonna be Armouge, correct? Oh, they get the pick now. Oh, I totally forgot. Since I Volt Switch, I pick, they get the C, and then they get the pick. So, Root Bionet's going to come out here. So, they do not have Indeedee and Armor. They can have one, but they do not have both. But this just seems like a free Bitter Blade here for the KO, and a Freeze Dry here for the KO. They can only Terrasilize one. Seems pretty good. Actually, I think might have Sucker Punch. So, let's Terrasilize. Let's Terrasilize and Steal. Good thing I did think of that. And then Freeze Dry the Slap. I... I good thoughts on my end. Good thoughts on my end. Because if I get sucker punch and die, that could really do me dirty. Good thinking, G Joe. Learn to think a little bit more. Learn to think a little bit more. That I'm telling you guys. If you sit down while you're playing and actually like like this is why I play better off screen sometimes, is because I can actually sit here and think. Like more so when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about just like talking to you guys. But if you actually sit down while you're playing and think about every possibility and what, what moves Pokemon has. I'm telling you guys, you'll play 10 times better thinking things out. Sometimes it's good to like, just like bring down a notepad. That's why people do it in like professional play. They write down what Pokemon they have. They can always look back when they use moves. They can write that down. Just to remember what moves and what uh, the other team is doing. So there's a the Sucker Punch. The Sucker Punch worked beautifully for us. We end up soaking that. And now I can get all my HP back as well. <coughs> 
Chalmet ends up Terrasalizing as well. And Air Slash is going to fly through. I don't mind that. He soaked pretty well. I'm not going to say pretty well because I think it's low on defense. But my boy's out here just ripping. Cerule Edge is just KOing. Get its HP back and just doing work. It's bulked up as well. But that's exactly why Terrasalize read the Sucker Punch. It was beautiful. And we get rid of the Brute Bonnet. Love that little tail and the little stubby feet on it. It's hilarious. You really can't go wrong with it. So the King Gambit is going to come out here. Dude, this game's a wrap. This game is a wrap. This game's a wrap, yo. So Rue just, just shredding through this team. I'm going to go for Hydro Pump because Free Stride will not KO, but Hydro Pump will. But this game's wrapped. So I think this dude just cancels the battle. Stands no chance here. He stays in. We're going to Hydro Pump this thing. We're going to say bye bye to Salamence. This game's over. Do we get the sweep? We need Cerulea to outspeed to get the sweep. Outspeed him. Do him dirty. Incoming sweep, baby. Love it. Love it. We don't okay. KO. Oh, no, not the sweep. We jinxed it. We jinxed it. Please go after Cerulea. Not my, not my bundle. Okay, you go after Cerulea. And we... Okay. We get the sweep. We get the sweep. I'll shadow sneak this thing just to make sure we get the sweep. And I'll freeze right on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> Battle is canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Big time win in match number three. We go two and one for today's video. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Had a big day today. Grabbed ourselves a winning record, two and one, and I absolutely had a blast recording today. I don't know why. Felt upbeat. Everything felt good today. Love this team so much. We got to showcase Vivlion, and Vivlion was actually really good. I'm not going to lie. It was very good on the support side. He was easily able to set up Tailwinds. Rage Powder was huge for us. We didn't get to use Pollen Puff. Protect also came in clutch. But again, Vivian, I think is a great support Pokemon with that frame guard as its ability. He had Fluttermane. He had Iron Bundle, Iron Hands, and Cerule Edge. Doing a heavy lift and picking up most of the damage. And again, like I already mentioned, grabbing ourselves a 2-1 winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.